Dr. Z, is the plan proceeding? Have the winners all hung their special diplomas with care? <laughs> well, uh, 83% of them have, but uh, we still not have yet received signal from the other 17%. Oh, well, keep trying. Wait a minute. This is not on camera, is it? Cut to the titles! Cut to the titles! <laughs> Secret lab has escaped detection for years, decades. But that ends tonight, or it is time that we experiment upon some unwitting and unwary musical miscreants in the name of science. I am Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, and tonight we shall find out if they can escape from the secret lab. <laughs> Great 
Greetings out there, lovers of science, especially you lovers of mad science, and welcome to my secret lab, that nightmarish bunker located dead center within the city of New Orleans. I am your host, Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, founder and leader of the Consortium of Genius, that collection of evil scientists known throughout the universe as the Cog! Excellent! Now then, as you no doubt know, every week we capture an unwitting band of musical morons and ensconce them right here with my specially designed laboratory to see if they are worthy, or dare I even say it, dangerous! Computer, what playthings can you offer me tonight? Let us unbox them and see. <laughs> tonight we have captured a comedy Americana band. Comedy? Humor, eh? Hey? Perhaps I will laugh my ass off while they die! Comedy music has existed for the duration of music history. Notable comedy musicians include Spike Jones, Tom Lehrer, and Weird Al Yankovic. The Round Pegs Trio is a comedy band from New Orleans, Louisiana. The trio was formed in 2007 and consists of guitarist, vocalist P.H. Fred, bazooki player Beth Patterson, and cello player Lindsey Rose. They have released the albums Lithium and Underroots in 2010. Pack Up Your Bags in 2013, Miss You in 2014, and Sick and Tired in 2020. Fascinating! Computer! Play one of their audio sonic videos! Affirmative, Dr. Pinkerton. Playing She Was a Zombie by The Round Pegs. Zombie. Do we really have to do this? Yes, Drusilla, we really have to do this. I have a report to file, and then I have to tell all the officers what to expect next. See, so you're going to tell me exactly what happened. She was a zombie. Sounds insane. What's crazy is crazy. She ate my brain. She met my parents. What could I tell them? This is my ghoul friend. Hello. Her name Sarah Beth. She's a zombie. 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 I'm the god she's a zombie. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> a zombie. That's not how you deal with zombies, but we'll sort that out later. All right, <laughs> welcome to my secret lab, Round Pegs. As you can see, I've miniaturized you <laughs> and inserted you into a square cage. Show it off, computer. Yes, there they are. Look at them. <laughs> how, how very cute. The three of you are now trapped in my secret lab and don't even bother attempting to escape. The entire cage is heavily booby-trapped. So you'll be caught here for a while, whether you like it or love it, and forced to play my little game. Computer, explain the rules of the game to these idiots. Computer? You are watching Escape from the Secret Lab, New Orleans live interactive musical game show. 
To support and contribute to this show, donate points by sending PayPal dollars to the lab using this address. To help the guest band escape, donate points to them by sending PayPal dollars to the band using this address. Each dollar donated during the live broadcast becomes one point for your choice, the secret lab or the helpless puny band. Highest donor of the night to the secret lab will receive a prize pack including a t-shirt. And yes, you can outbid each other before the end of the show. The guest band will be destroyed at the end of the broadcast should they fail to earn more points than the secret lab. Good luck, band. Luck? I don't believe in luck! But whoever has the higher score at the end of the night wins. And if the band wins, they will receive this beautiful plaque, this non-suspicious plaque, and be allowed to leave my lab. But of course, if the lab wins... <laughs> Look up! Yes, that fan. It's your biggest fan tonight. And uh, I, by the way, Dr. G, I bought that from a uh, bankrupt candy manufacturer. <laughs> Had to wipe some blood off the blades, too. <laughs> Isn't that charming? Uh, that, that, that's very cute, but um, what good does a fan do? That will just blow them and keep them cool. Ah, the fan doesn't just blow. It also sucks. It oh. sucks big time. So, round pegs, you'd better play like your little lives depend upon it, because guess what? Your little lives depend upon it. Oh, and you will also be playing to our esteemed robot audience. Hey, boss! Ask them if they need a drummer. I'm getting bored over here! Silence, drumbot! You are not allowed to join any other bands! All right, drum round pegs, you have 15 minutes. So play your little hearts out, for I command it! Celebrity connections will not help you, Lot. <laughs> You're in my secret lab now. That, that was a very impressive name dropping anyway. Did I give you permission to stop? Keep going!
one, four, six, then I could pie yeah. I could die here, yeah. I could lie. Good pie is a number. It is neither good nor evil. And it is quite long. <laughs> yes, perhaps we should use that to jack up the odds. Take that down, Dr. Z. Maybe we shall multiply our points by pie later. I don't know if that... Keep playing! I didn't give you permission to stop! Pelicans and Pedro in Louisiana. No one knows what a pelican. They're in Cano, like my band. Wish I was a pelican. Would I? say this for them, Dr. Z, their songs are mercifully short. 
Well, that is a good thing sometimes. And they are also quite short. <laughs> are they? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess they are. Yes. That size is about, about a foot and a half high. Yes. Uh, a little bit less than that, but yes. Keep playing! I command it! She must have been, uh... How did she infiltrate my lab? I suppose the door was supposed to be locked! I I, I think she's intentionally, uh, I ingesting the, the, the shrinkage form. Formelder, yeah. what are you running experiments on our experiments for? Well, these are old friends of mine. They're uh, to hang out and entertain and taunt you. All right, I'm going to have my, I'm going to have my revenge on you later. But keep going! The experiment is <laughs> ongoing. You, you are not permitted to stop playing! Ha! Just because Formelda has invaded the lab. Well, square pig in a round hole. A round pig in a square hole. My car got stuck in a pothole. But it didn't have any pot in it. I need some pot Stuck in a pothole Let's smoke some pot Jethro 
Metro needs a brand new toe. Less decisions to be made and need to be mowed. My Sharpie is just too dull. How the fuck can I sign autographs with that? I need some pot. Oh, la la, suck in a pot. Oh, la la, let's smoke some pot. Nietzsche can, but Emmanuel can't. Jimmy Pages and Robert Plants and John Paul starts to Jones. He needs some pot. Oh, la la, suck in a pot hole. La la, let's smoke some pot. Steven Seagal hung out with Harry Lee, Mark Twain and Getty Lee. I'd explain that, but I'm in no rush. Take off. Need some pot. Oh, suck in a pothole. And I'm stuck in Milo's little cage. Pothole in a cage full of love. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get out of here real soon. This is gonna help us. <laughs> very, very confident of you to think that you're going to get out of here. But I'll have you know, my little sister is right down in there, spying for me! Really, darling? What are you doing here? <laughs> I told you, she's like using your, your ray. She's <laughs> ingesting her own shrinkage formula. What? Yes, you I have, have a shrinkage and anti-shrinkage formula, darling. Don't How did you know? figure out that? Oh, I'm going, to, I'm going to get even with you. <laughs> she's only partially shrunk now. But first, First, I'm going to have to get even with them, because it'll soon be time to raise the stakes and up the scores in the arcade room of Digital Doom. All right, round pegs, who is your gaming champion? Huh? One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Nobody wants to go up against me. <laughs> All right, we're going to unshrink one of you and compete on the game grid after these words from our great sponsor, CNM. <laughs> I gotta bring back metal, bro. I'm going to CNM Music. CNM Music is where you need to go for everything that rocks. Check out our huge selection of guitars, drums, basses, keyboards, even lights and PA equipment. I need some help, sir. Yeah, bro. I need a guitar that's so bad and so pointy that it will bring back metal. Bring back metal. Got gotcha. you, How about that? Look, bro. I need a guitar that's so bad that it'll actually bring back metal. So bad. Gotcha. About that. I'll take it, bruh. Whatever your musical requirements, CNM Music has what you need. Would you have anything for taking over the world? CNM Music carries the largest number of guitars in the Gulf South with a huge selection of pedals and accessories and our new Pleck machine provides the most accurate guitar setup possible. CNM Music is located at 2515 Williams Boulevard in Kenner. See cnmmusic.com for other locations. Mr. Flatstein, I figured out how you can bring back metal. Damn, bro, tell me. I'm ready to bring back metal right now. Let's go in there. <laughs> Welcome back to Escape from the Secret Lab. <laughs> and we're testing out the round pegs tonight to see if we can fit them into a square cage. But first, it's time to visit the arcade room of Digital Doom. Ha 
All right, welcome to our infamous arcade room. And you are doomed, because this week the viewing audience voted for the 1982 Namco game, Super Pac-Man. This almost forgotten game was utterly eclipsed by the debut of Miss Pac-Man the year before. Remember to press the speed up button when you're playing this when you eat the super pellet. <laughs> Those ghosts won't stand a chance <laughs> against me. All right, the final scores of this round will be divided by a thousand and added to your score of mine. Got it? Have you ever played this before? Uh, no? No. Excellent! <laughs> I'm going to go first. All right, pay attention to what I do <laughs> if you want to survive. Do what he says, not what he does. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Going to kill all those ghosts. Ah, here we go. Yes. <laughs> Why are you crazy? Because I'm huge in Japan, and that's where this game comes from. Right. Yes. Ooh, look at that. They are scared of me. <laughs> all right, here we go, munching ghosts. Unlocking cages, eating all sorts of apples and things. Oh, there we go. Who in Japan thought this was a good idea? I don't know. They obviously have a very warped sense of what makes a good game, and this is not a good game. The so one thing. They obviously knew what a good game was because they made Pac Man. Right, right, but in this case, they copied it a little too faithfully. You see, the maze never changes. That's terrible. They just added a stupid power up or two. So. So the, the stupid hack that they turned into this Pac-Man was way better than this piece of crap That's that right. they decided to make the good one, right? Absolutely, an American hack. Oh, you distracted me! How could you do- All right, it's your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank right, you, darling. Yes. Silence! Is Formelda still here? <laughs> Dr. Z, see to it that she is evicted from the lab at once! <laughs> She's too small for me to grab right now. She's running around like a puppy, Milo. This is most disturbing. I'm going to have a word with the security system, i.e. Drumbot. Uh, Drumbot is not the best no. Look at her go. Look at her die. <laughs> All right, my turn. Do you remember we used to have uh, Drumbot as quality control on the top Yes, of the yes, there was no quality he, he at all. He did do a very good job on that. No, he did not. Of course, I built him so I can up the quality. I upped his quality, now up yours. But you're the one responsible for his quality. Silence! Bananas. Oh, this was just I'm, bananas. I'm going bananas over this stupid game. All right, here we go. Speed up. Eat everything. Speed so, up. So you like bananas because they have no bones, yes? No, that sounds like one of my grandfather's songs. Do not mention that again. No, that's not your grandfather's song. Silence! Silence. Mr. Nassus Mr. wrote that one. Ah! I perished again! How could you permit this? All right, you're I up. had nothing to do with it. You're the one with the controls. Silence. At least the controls are working this time. Last time, huh, somebody sabotaged my control last time. Well, it was the only way to explain my loss. We shall not see that again. No, not this century. Look at it. She's eating a ghost. This is a big step forward in round peg technology. Oh, look at that. You have gained egress to the apple. I've got to get oh. the final key. Oh. Yes. Oh. How annoying can this game be? All right. <laughs> Here we go. That is the question. Silence, silence. I must have absolute concentration. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is get a power up and then you're giant and you just go around and do stuff. But you need absolute concentration, my Silence, Ronaldo! Pray that I do not play you at video games. <laughs> oh, video games are for children. Ah. Yes, well, you should have seen the runner-up. <laughs> Paperboy. What an insult to my intelligence. Look at that. All right. Oh, a cartoon! <laughs> Look at that high-tech cartoon we are being treated to! My god, what a budget this game must have had! Oh, look at that animation! Have you ever seen the like? All right. Now that I've had enough time to go and use the little scientist's room during that long animation. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, so Homer Simpson designed this. Apparently so. All right. 
Palace? I'm gonna leave that one for later. Oh, this is the... This must be the bonus level. Oh, timed level. However, I am kicking ass! I'm taking names. <laughs> I thought you were kicking on the donuts. I'm going to play now right-handed and see how it goes. It's going to go even better. <laughs> yes! So now you're playing Burger Time. Ooh, look at that. Look at that move, Dr. Z. Really? The ghosts don't stand a chance. Not against me. You don't have a ghost of a chance? Huh. <laughs> I believe there is a ghost of a chance I can find something to eat in this game. Is there a ghost in the machine? Um, it better not be. And time stands still. It's probably Drumbot. <laughs> Stop speaking Russian. Ah! All right, all right, but look! Look at that score! It's, it's untouchable. That's it's your turn. Until she touches it. No, 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 no. I, I don't think she really wants to touch it. <laughs> no. I had that control sterilized before the game. Well, that's a good thing, because I saw Filbert touching it earlier, and she wouldn't want to touch it after that. What no. Was, what was Filbert playing? Most certainly not. I'm not really oh, sure. No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that! Look at that! All right, so let's put up the score of 183 for the lab and 44 for the round pigs. Does that sound fair? Uh, of course it sounds fair! Do not trifle with me! All right, now then, <clears throat> 183 for the lab, 44 for the round pigs. Excellent. All right, <laughs> well done, round pigs! <laughs> ah, look at that! But we're still winning. Excellent. All right. <laughs> and soon, it'll be time for them to answer for their impositions. But first, we're going to watch a video and see how COG deals with the zombie problem. We already know how they deal with it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a I joke. It, totally. <laughs> and, and remember to get Violet. in your... Uh, created it. Get in your... Uh, your, your uh, yes, your you, you are a problem. To, to the lab and to the band. Yes, we need to up the scores around here. And look, if you get the highest donation, and look, the highest donation right now is just $10. So for over $10, you could get this, and this patch, and this, and these buttons, all of this, for just 10, uh, I'm sorry, for just $11 to beat the high score right now, which is Jonathan Farr's donation of $10. Jonathan, you traitor! How could you do this to us? <laughs> of course he could do that to you, because what do you have to compete against these fine t-shirts? Show them some swag, round pegs. Oh, really? It better not be coming out of a different orifice, or nobody will want it. We have one. Uh, what is that? Two. Uh, two. We have two t-shirts. Two t-shirts. Two t-shirts. Are they the same t-shirt times two? Two different t-shirts. Really? A hat. A hat. A sticker. Dr. Z, do you have a spare hat we could kick in? No, no, I do not. And Jonathan Farr has given us forty dollars. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, all right. This will not stand. Well, but we need other participants besides just the Jonathan. Yes, yes, yes. But first, it's time for a video. Roll it. <laughs> oh, for Melda, dear. Is my zombification formula ready yet? My zombification formula is ready for testing, Milo. Hmm. Excellent. But where shall we find some suitably unwitting test subjects? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Hey, 
Escape from the Secret Lab, New Orleans' most educational and excruciating game show. All right, I'm sure you viewers out there have many questions you'd like to ask this accomplished band. Well, type them into the chat window on your right on YouTube, and Dr. Z will get the band to answer them, and maybe he'll even look at Facebook tonight, assisted by my little sister, Formelda. <laughs> it's so lovely having you here this evening. I'm going to, to deal with you later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, pay attention to your screens. The name of the highest donor is displayed at the bottom of the screen, and whoever has the highest donation by the end of the night will win this swag, like this t-shirt, patch, CD, all kinds of stuff! All right. Do not spare the many of the questions, Dr. Z and Formelda. Let them have it! Um, okay, well, I can only let them have what people have sent, and they're not sending much of anything. Hmm. So, um... <laughs> It says, how many members are in the band? Can you count? Three is the number, and the number shall be three. No more, no less. There you go. Three. Five is right out. Three is the number. Okay, um, somebody's getting hungry now. Uh, they ask, is zombie meat white or dark meat? Oh, well, that's dark, darling. Oh. Dark. Oh, it's and gotten it's dark green. gray. Delicious and succulent. Dark. When, especially when you put some barbecue sauce on it. Oh, yes. It's the family special recipe. But, but, but now we must ask you about the white dark meat because you, are, you people in the, in the cage, you're the ones that we need to be asking these things. And I noticed you had something about the zombie. So uh, what, what, what do you think about the zombie meat? Well, it depends on, on what they eat. If they're only eating brains, you know, it's going to be uh, a little more tough. Then you have the vegan zombies that go around going, grains, grains. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned meat. You know, all three of you in that cage will be reduced to pieces of meat by the fan up above the cage. <laughs> Let's take a look at that fan, shall we? Is it still spinning? Yes, it's still spinning. <laughs> it's spinning faster, in fact. <laughs> the bathroom, Milo. Oh. I, so, I, you were talking about vegans. I thought you were, you were talking about... The artisanal hipsters with their uh, with the local beers, <laughs> grains, grains. Now, um, let's. Uh, uh, we got a question. Are your pegs really round, or is that just a myth? Actually, they're oblong ellipsoids. Well, how will they fit in the round holes? They don't. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so, how long have you been playing together? Two thousand and nine. Yeah, she thought, yeah. Six. Six, nine, yeah. Uh, Sixty-nine, uh, yeah. Six, six dozen one way, seventy-two the other. Um, 
I don't, I don't have any more questions on it. Nobody's asking questions. Do you have any questions for this because People want music. Don't. They don't want questions. Well, oh, I, wait, I, I, I just saw one question. What if there's a tie? There's never a tie. Of course there's a tie. I'm wearing it. All right, no, brown no, 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 pegs. Well, we, need, we also need to ask them, where, where can people get their music from? Oh. All right. Because everybody always... That's a fair question. People always ask that question. Where do people go to get your music, if you want to call it that? Apple Music, Spotify, cool places for cool cats. (laughs) Cool. (laughs) So so you can go to coolstuff.com to get it? We're through being cool around here. It is time to get hot. All right. (laughs) Yes. That fan is is getting pretty quick. But he, he said that's for sucking. No, oh, it's going to suck their brains right out through their ears. All right, enough of this palaver. It is time to return to the music. But first, for you late arrivals, computer needs to remind you of the rules of this game. Do it! You're watching Escape from the Secret Lab, New Orleans live interactive Thank musical you. game show. To support and contribute to this show, donate points by sending PayPal dollars to the lab using this address. To help the guest band escape, Donate points to them by sending PayPal dollars to the band using this address. Each dollar donated during the live broadcast becomes one point for your choice, the Secret Lab or the Helpless Puny Band. Highest donor of the night to the Secret Lab will receive a prize pack including a t-shirt. And yes, you can outbid each other before the end of the show. The guest band will be destroyed at the end of the broadcast should they fail to earn more points than the secret lab. Good luck, fam. (laughs) All right, good luck indeed. For, as a matter of fact, it's time for me to shift our luck by having a two-for-one sale on scoring. That's right. Each dollar donated to the lab during this next set counts double. (gasps) What have you got to offer? Music? Play or die! And we have a new high, um, high, high score, so uh, it only takes $16 to get all the good stuff. Yes, swag. yes. Give us some money, folks. <laughs> You're doomed. <laughs> doomed!
Those tin fish that bacon does satisfy That pork sensation makes me cry I want shot a pig in Reno just to watch him fry to uh, play a little game because I know that somewhere there is a voodoo doll of Dr. Pinkerton. Somewhere, I know, it's in the lab somewhere. I saw it. I received some intelligence that there is a... There we go. Oh, look! Our ally in disguise, Formelda Hyde, oh, has Milo. a doll. And just be... Oh, you have something you... in your teeth. Hold it up so they oh, can see. Oh, look at this. What, so we're going what, to... We're what going is to... this? What? We're going to push okay. back. Romelda, how did you obtain that? Die, Where did you get that from? <laughs> Romelda! <laughs> oh, Keep oh, playing! Oh, I didn't tell you to stop playing! Going to push back a little bit with a song called Show Me on the Doll. And that's right, we're going to say Show Me on the Doll, how we're going to destroy Dr. Pinkerton. No! Yes! No! <laughs> Ready? One, two, one, two, three. Are you too shy? Show me on the doll. Do you like it from or behind? Show me on the doll. What do you want for me to do? Shall I play your knob like some kazoo? Then fight your windpipe till you're blue. Just show me on the doll. Is talking dirty just too scary? Show me on the doll. Are the parts you'd like to see less hairy? Show me on the doll. All function never go unsung. I hear that you're a man well hung. Yet the pussy's got your tongue. Just show me on the doll. Where do you like that special touch? Show me on the doll. You're just not saying very much. Show me on the doll. Show you on the doll how we are going to defeat you. What is this? That's, That's that disgusting. is a bad Beth song. Yeah. Yes. And, and no, it's, it's my song. Bad Beth is my enemy. How she how is she connected my... to this? I don't think she is connected. Is she also trying to sabotage the results of the night? I think she might have sent something in to. to I sense that. Formelda's hand in this. Formelda. Are you still around? Oh, okay. Romelda, where are you? Oh, here she is. Oh, I hear her voice. I don't see her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Romelda. This I, I, interference will I, not I, be tolerated. We are very good friends, dear. We are. Oh, we go way back. Yes, we do. Romelda, I see that you brought an experiment with you. Yes, oh, you yes. Keep that? playing. We're going to sort this out.
herself needles crack when she dyed her hair black. Ooh, Shamalama. Ding dong. Sometimes she dyes her hair pink just to make them fellas think it's a sexual nod. What a coincidence. I don't have to dye my hair, but you're going to die unless you get 80 more points or so. Hello, <laughs> dear. Look what I found wandering around the moat outside. What? He's so adorable. How dare you put my creature on a leash? <laughs> what? It, I'm, I'm going to sort you out for Melda once I'm and for all. I'm going to take him home with me, darling. Uh, I, I, no, I, you're I, not. I like him. I, I think I could put him to use, dear. Use? Use? He's got his use around here. We experiment upon him mercilessly. Oh, all right, all right. No, you're Look, useless experiments. The game is almost goodness. up, people. Soon the fate <laughs> of these three idiots in the cage will be sealed soon, decided by you. Unless you donate yes, a little really bit more money to them, money so they're going die. to yeah. die! <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, the blades are still spinning above the cage. I think it's going to suck their little bones up and spit them out the roof. Unless you do something about it, people. But before the decision is sealed, remember to hit subscribe to this channel and hit notify to be notified when our next episode is broadcast next Sunday with the Klezmer All-Stars. Oh, yes. And, and you like sure, them, Dr. Make, Z, make don't sure you? you? Yes, I do. They're, they're very fun. But also make sure that you... Uh, so you, you Contribute to the, uh, the the lab or the band to uh, get some more stuffs going. Stuff, yes. Like for instance, this one. <laughs> Let's oh. show the audience how we of the Cog deal with Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Barney, you are ready. <laughs> Bring him out. Bring out that purple menace.
cut off a slimy slab of dripping purple meat. Cut the juicy drumstick, throw away the feet. Put it in your luncheon pail, covered with a lid. Send it over your snail. round pegs who would escape the secret lab must answer me these questions three air the other side they see you will have 10 seconds to answer these difficult questions <laughs> if you know the answer you gain a hundred points and if you do not know the answer the hundred points of course goes to the lab that's me you are not permitted to look it up either if you do I get 200 points so computer ask the first question what is your name? Not bad, not too hard. The room takes three piece duo. All right, well, most people get that one. That's a bit specific, but yes, okay. All right, we're gonna give you that one. Second question. How do you intend to take over the world? Slowly and meticulously through the secret lab. <laughs> what? What traitorous treachery? All right, all right, all right. We're going to get to that in a second. Now. Hilarious, darling. But the clincher. Computer. What is pi to the tenth decimal, please? All right. Confer and socialize amongst yourselves. <laughs> and let us see if you can arrive at the correct answer. <laughs> Con Ten, turn it down. Yes. Nine. Nine. Eight. <laughs> yes. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. <laughs> five. Four. Oh, I can't wait. Three. <laughs> he should know this. Two. He's a Apple mathematical a moves. One. All right. That is our answer. Apple a la mode. You're not even going to try to answer the question of to pi to the tenth decimal place? You didn't spell it, though. We answered homonymously. I'd like to know the answer to the question of what is the mathematical value of pi to Dep the tenth decimal place. Can you do it? Three or do I get point the, All right. One. Uh-huh. Four. Yes. Six. No, no. Five. Ah! Seven. Somebody is used to using two. a calculator. Apple on the moon. Ah! <laughs> I got the serves you right, Romelda, for trying to My throw the game. Goodness. All right. Romelda! <laughs> Computer, put 100 points up for the lab. <laughs> oh, what a satisfying end this is going to be. That, that, that's figured it. <laughs> yes? I, I, I see that Romelda has been uh, you know, doing some cloning experiments oh, to, to out, outshine yours. What? I know, I, I, outshine I, mine? I borrowed some of your hair, darling. And what? I'd love you to meet my progeny. Progeny? <laughs> Look at her. What is this? She's been using the hair. Where did you? Lovely, How? Isn't she? This is not the end of this. All right, people. My creation. Creation? All right. You better play your best song because people need to donate a hell of a lot more points to you unless you want to meet your biggest fan. <laughs> Listen to your silly Uncle Milo, dear. Uh, uncle? I'm nobody's uncle. Monkeys, Uncle Silent! Talk to Honey Bunny, talk to Ringo too, about it, but 
say the next one is for you. Do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. Hey, go. That's both been my fiction. So is a Jackie Brown. I heard it says dead. Never wanted him around. Do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. I'm stuck in the middle and I'm never coming back. Oh, do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. Oh, do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. Kill Bill. Do the Tarantino. Do the Tarantino. No evil shall I fear Cause I made the coffee Gonna cut off your ear Do the Tarantino Do the Tarantino Do the Tarantino Do the Tarantino Do the One. <laughs> but to the audience, we're going to take a short break and tally up the points. And if you haven't donated to the lab or the band, now is your final chance to influence the outcome. Remember, each dollar you donate adds to the score one dollar per point. Please make sure you donate to this band. <laughs> they really need your help. They're about to die. <laughs> uh, Settle down, Dr. Pickett. You, you ripped your sphincter again. It's been entire... Three months, and we haven't killed anybody in this lab until tonight. <laughs> so, when we come back, it's going to be time to pass judgment upon the round pegs, so don't go away. And now, meanwhile, uh, my little nephew, come here. I'm going to show you how to use a gun. Yeah, darling. All right, you, you and go and play the one of the commercials, uh, computer. All right, this is Look a gun. Look at you, Milo. You aim this at your enemy, i.e. <laughs> no, 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 not me, no, no, not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I wish I could play something fast. Fast? Fast as in fast metal guitar licks? Because if that's what you're talking about, I think I've got it covered. Hey, did you like that? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it for you at half speed just to see if you can comprehend the metal genius that I behold. <laughs> hey, did you like that? Would you like to learn how to do that? Because if you do, that's right, you can purchase my metal award-winning DVD instructional home video. Inside it has the licks that you can actually play that caused me to become the 
six string king of Fat City. To become the king of your own dietarily challenged city, don't delay any longer. Pick up the phone and order Ingve Flatstein's Fat City Guitar Method Volume 1 DVD for just $89.95. And if you act now, we'll even throw in a free Ingve Flatstein Speed Master Guitar Pick. Absolutely free. That's Ingve Flatstein's Fat City Guitar Method Volume 1 DVD and complimentary Speed Master Guitar Pick for the low, low price of just $89.95. Order yours today. <laughs> Thanks, Yngwie Flatstein. Oh my god, that's my All right, welcome back to Escape from the Secret Lab, the denouement of Escape from the Secret Lab. The moment finally is upon us. I see that the band has earned 209 points, Dr. Well, Z. Well, that, that is quite an improvement from earlier. Yes, yes, they, they seem to have put on a little bit of pointage, but the lab has earned, thanks to you generous people, three 355 points! And also thanks to Super Pac-Man. And thank you, Formelda, for giving me somebody to educate in the ways of evil. <laughs> Actually, give... She, give sh she shan't learn much from you. Give again. her the plaque. She deserves it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm about to introduce you, Round Pegs, to your biggest fan ever. So just hold still and look up and, uh... <laughs> and go ahead, go ahead, computer, activate the fan. Not You're just. going to be cleaning that up. I'll uh, so just turn you. on the ionic breeze. Oh, ironic, isn't it? All right, now then. No, the ionic breeze. We shall see you next week with the Plasma All Stars. Good night. Good night, everybody. Say good night to Formelda. <laughs> good night, dear. Say good night to Minnie Mai. Minnie Milo, whatever. Miloina. Whatever she is. I have no idea how you did that, but you're not permitted to do it ever again. Oh, duh. Credits. The secret lab is always there, waiting for you to enter, waiting to enter you. Until next time, try to stay in your abode.